code pink when buying robux or premium hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i will be giving you a tutorial on how to make a roblox animation using the maximo animations we're going to start off by exporting everything from roblox studio this includes our character and backdrop or setup i will be using my avatar and a catwalk for the background if you don't know how to export these things you can slow the video down or watch my beginner animation tutorial once we've finished that, we can head over to Mixamo. If you have never used this before, you'll need to sign up. Once you log in, you can see that there are heaps of animations to choose from. I have chosen to use a catwalking one. Now that we have chosen our animation, we can click Upload Character. This is where we choose our OBJ file that we exported earlier from Roblox Studio. With this part, all you need to do is drag the colored circles to the body parts that are labeled. Try to make these as accurate as you can. When you're happy, click next. Click next again. Now click on download. You do not need to change any of these settings, so leave them the same, then click download. Open up Blender and start to set up the lighting, denoising, etc. Watch my beginner tutorial in the description if you need help with this. Now we're going to go up to file, then import FBX. Select the one we just downloaded. Now go over to the little box icon and set all of the scales to 1. As you can see here, I'm just checking that my animation works. Now we're going to change the little snowball icon to material. To add our texture, we're going to click on this icon here, go down to color, Click image texture, then select your texture. You might have a few depending on your character, so just make sure they're right. Repeat this process with all the other parts. I want to have my character walking on a catwalk, so I'm going to import the catwalk we exported from earlier. Click File, Import, Wavefront. Right here, I'm just setting up my catwalk. When you're happy, you can click View Camera. Then choose where you want to place it. You can leave it still if you like, but I'm going to animate it using the lock rot scale options like this. I am happy with my animation, so I'm going to cut it to where I want it to end by adjusting the numbers at the bottom. To finish off, go to the camera icon and click AVI JPEG.
Then click on the folder and save it to where you want. Now press animation. This animation will probably take quite a while to render depending on how long your animation is. After this video was finished, mine ended up taking 24 hours to render.